like to organize the book club to put it actually put it together and get it in motion and also could you describe a little bit of, of the format of the actual event sure um, we got together first of all and just chose uh, some great books that we wanted everyone to read that we thought would be appealing to sixth through eighth grade and as well as their parents so once we chose the books we kind of publicized which one we were starting with and sent notes home the teachers did reminds and all kinds of publicity about it we put things up in the halls and in the newsletter and we just invited all middle school kids to participate they had to bring an adult with them that they lived with or you know or in their family who was over 18. so as long as they had an adult with them it didn't matter if it's a parent we've had grandparents we've had aunts uncles um, all kinds of family members have participated so that's been great format of the meeting it's they're pretty quick meetings we do 5 30 to 6 30 so we just start off with a group activity where we're discussing the book and getting into you know what we liked what we related to we like to incorporate text so we've done we've done kahoot um, we're going to do quizlet live in one of them we've done nearpod and uh, having the Chromebooks in the cafeteria has been great. Um, they all know how to log in. They get in there very quickly, and then we just, away we go. And so, it's neat for the parents to see that yeah. technology yes. that the students are using at school as well. Yeah, right? yeah. I think the parents are blown away by mm -hmm. how much their students can do. And it, it is cool for them to see it firsthand. It's so different from just hearing about it at home to sit there and, and witness it. You can see um, the parents are pretty proud of mm -hmm. most of their their progress. Absolutely. So then we do um, we sometimes do a little snack and and then we try to finish with the parent survey so we can get feedback on their opinions, their recommendations for the future. And. Chrissy, how has your rural life coach helped you with the family book club? Okay, Brooke has been very helpful. Um, she's helped us plan activities. She's been great with helping with the tech stuff, with publicity, um, with giving us feedback on the books and helping us find resources and discussion questions. Invaluable. <laughs> have been one of the um, most um, fun parts of, of my work here is just oh, helping with the family book club it's really been an impressive event to see the turnout and to get that that parent and community participation so it's been awesome yeah it's been really great <laughs> one last question chrissy what are your plans or goals in moving forward with the book club uh, do you have any other ideas that you're looking to implement or do you have any advice or cautions um, to other schools who are thinking about implementing the book club? Um, we're excited to keep it going and we've purchased enough books through the grant so we have books for a three-year rotation and then we will just start over with our books since those kids will have graduated and we'll have new kids. Oh yeah. So um, we're we're really thrilled to have all these new books which is great and one idea we're talking about is maybe doing a summer meetup. Um, so we would distribute a book at the end of the school year and pick a day in the summer when we would get together for book club. So I'm looking forward to seeing if that works out. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, that'd be great. Sounds like a great idea. Okay. Well, Chrissy, thank you so much for your time and thank you for all of the work that you put into organizing the book club and ordering all of the books <laughs> uh, and just um, for being so welcoming here at Little Scout School. Thank you. Thanks thank for you. your help. <laughs>